Hello world, how is everyone doing this morning? First we had L in here, good morning L, Larry, John, Dad's Vintage Garage, good morning Craig, what's up man, how you doing? Older than me, if I have you on here. Piper John, good morning everyone, hope everyone had a good day yesterday. Good morning Michelle. How are you doing this morning? It's supposed to be warmer today in Virginia. We've had uh, pretty much a deep freeze the past few days. Uh, it was like Fargo up in here. So uh, I'm glad a little bit warmer at least. Good morning, Cindy. How's everyone doing this morning? Um, you know, as you guys know, usually, I got a spot on my shirt. Uh, usually on these shows, I have my stuff to package out and everything. And I did sell some stuff yesterday. I sold a jacket before my mailman ran. So I went ahead and packaged it up and it got out yesterday. And after that, I sold, uh, three more things, a package deal with the guy that made an offer on some stuff. And, uh, of course he hasn't paid. So, and I sold one thing this morning so far, which person hasn't paid for as well. So nothing to pack. I got four things awaiting payment. <laughs> and I'm sure they will pay it, just, you know, haven't as of yet. Uh, let me see here. Good morning, Danny. E-M-M, -M, good morning, Danny. Shamrock Pixie, good morning. How are you doing? Marcy, good morning. From Orlando, Florida. And Marcy's in Orlando. Good morning, Monty. How you doing? Shipping sunshine. John, good morning, brother. How you doing? Cincinnati picker. Tom, good morning. How's everyone going? Um, yeah, so got four waiting shipments, so nothing to ship. Uh, sales were decent. I mean, it's, it's kind of been like that the past like week or so. They just been a little bit below average. You know, yesterday I did about 200 bucks. Um, so not great, but you know, better than nothing. Of course, you know, we'll take it. So yeah, um, <laughs> the sh uh, Shamrock Pixie, are, are your name's Destiny, is that right? Or uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll get you on my list. I know I've seen you in chats before and you've actually did shows with people. So, but uh, yeah, I don't see you on my list. But where are you located, Shamrock Pixie? If you're in a snow snowstorm. In New England area. Uh, I haven't even watched the weather, honestly. So, yeah. Good morning, Chris. How are you doing this morning? Yes, okay. Thank you. I got it. I got it, Destiny. Appreciate it. I had a couple since I don't have anything to pick or to pack since it's all awaiting payment. Um, had a couple things to talk about though and of course if you guys have any questions or comments you know appreciate the thumbs up and everything uh i have my affiliate links super chat whatever you guys want to do we'll do it um but i do have a couple things i was going to talk about wisconsin yep uh have quite a bit of minnesotans and wisconsinites are you wisconsinites Wis wisconsinians <laughs> i have no idea Oh gosh. But I have a couple things to talk about. Uh, and of course, we'll. Uh, Marcy says she's dragging this morning. Yeah, it happens. I, I, I'm still, I have my coffee like normal, but I still haven't woken up. What are you doing, dog? Dog. Uh, I have been, uh, my first topic I'll talk about a little bit is I have been knee deep in inventory um taken a little bit longer than expected I, I have all my soft goods done they're all inventoried but i'm uh i did about half of the hard goods yesterday and you can see behind me here my bins you know all labeled and everything and i have probably found it's important to do this not strictly you know to there, there are several reasons to do inventory yeah, no doubt, John. But when you get up to, you know, like I'm up to about, uh, 
I guess 1500 listings in total, 15, 1600 or so between the three eBay stores, Amazon, Etsy, uh, all that stuff. Um, about up to 1500 items and, and I'm about 75, probably 75% of the way through those or so. So, uh, I have probably found 20 items that are just not listed anymore and I have no idea why, you know, they were just gone. Like, yeah, I have the item, but you know, I looked on I don't know, this item. I remember listing it on eBay, you know, I don't know. I'm, this isn't one of them, but say I had this, you know, I remember listing this. I remember taking the pictures. I remember doing it, but it was just gone into the ether. No, you know, no listing to be found anymore. And I don't know why, you know, uh, a lot of times maybe it's because you had sold something, sent it out and a person returned it and you just forgot to relist it or whatever. But this isn't the case with all this stuff. All this stuff I know hasn't sold. I know wasn't returns and they're just not there anymore. A lot of people have talked about, well, maybe you had a listed good till sold. I don't do good till solds. I do 30 day listings, you know? So it was just like, poof, this stuff was mysteriously just gone off of eBay or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's one reason to do inventory. <laughs> uh, let me see. Destiny, uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, Marcy taking naps. Mm. A lot of people are nappers, uh, siestas. Uh, I'm not one of them. Honestly, I've probably taken two naps in the middle of the day in three years. Uh, but when you need them, you need them. You know, sometimes it happens. Yeah, Wisconsin, Tom, they're called cheeseheads. Wisconsin, Wisconsinites, Wisconsinians, <laughs> cheeseheads. Yeah, absolutely. Johnny B. Thrifines, what's up, man? Thanks for popping in. Just got a, uh, he's in California, does a cup of work at the swap meet, waiting for it to open. Awesome, man. Early morning, 6.07 in California. Good morning, Dawn. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes. Good morning, Dawn. Two hip chicks. Good morning. <laughs> Shipping sunshine. Got off love naps now. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, Monty, that's usually the, the three times the past, you know, through two or three times the past three years I've taken a nap because I had a migraine. I used to, and so, this is weird, but take it for what it will. Since I have changed my diet and lost this weight, I've lost, I was, I'm actually, I'll, I'll lay the numbers out there. I was probably about 295 pounds three years ago. Yesterday, I was at 238. So I'm, I'm about to hit 60 pounds down and it's all because of very, very, very low sugar and lower carbs, not extreme low carbs like keto. I started doing keto, but my kidney function got screwy. So I ditched keto. I'm still lower carbs, but it's just not that extreme low keto. So I'm down almost 60 pounds. And since then I used to get ocular migraines. If you don't know what ocular migraines are, you get these like wavy lines in your eyeballs and they're all over and it can get real bad. I could tell instantly when I was getting one. And if I knew I was getting one, I would take Excedrin migraine, drink some water, eat something. And, uh, it would mitigate the effects. But if I, the first time I got one, I didn't know what was going on. And, um, I was at my store actually. It's when I still owned my, owned my stores in Missouri and I was working behind the counter at my store. This was back when I was still trying to get it out of bankruptcy. And I had to call my wife and say, you have got to come and take over. I thought I was going to throw up, pass out, faint, all the above from this. And to come find out, you know, I went straight home and I slept for about three hours. And it was these ocular migraines. And from then on, I, I knew, what, knew when I was going to get them. I took excited migraine. It would mitigate it. But, it, you know, not taking medicine when I got that first one, it was like a full-on migraine, like halo migraine. Uh, but since I've lost this weight, uh, and since I've laid off the sugar and the carbs and stuff, I have not gotten one at all. So I don't know what it was, if it was the sugar, if it was the fatness or a combination of everything, but I do not get the migraines anymore. So, uh, yeah, take it what it is. <laughs> so <laughs> it's awesome. But, uh, just another, you know, being an extra large shirts is a really good, uh, thing as well instead of 2x and 3x i'm down these are extra large shirts uh but yeah so 
and and this weight loss has taken two years so it took, you know a lot of people you see online you're like i lost 60 pounds in two months <sighs> maybe you know and maybe it'll stick maybe it won't but uh the the if you take the long road it's more likely to stay off like this is two years of, and i'm down almost 60 pounds so everybody's different it's just like reselling everybody enjoys different things everybody's bodies react differently to different foods for me sugar is just will pack the weight on me like no no other and you know what's funny is other than that i eat normally last night yesterday last night we had nachos i eat pizza i eat pasta you know uh, i eat normal i just don't eat sugar for the most part and 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 the other thing is i don't keep like sliced bread in the house because i eat sliced bread non-stop if it's around i'll have sandwiches pb and j's which i wouldn't have because well i actually have some sugar-free uh jelly upstairs but uh still bread i just don't keep it in the house because i know i'll eat it all the time but Anyway, that's just a weird random tangent we just got on. <laughs> we went from inventory to uh, yeah, lifestyle tangent. But yeah. Yeah, see Michelle had a horrible horrible migraine on Monday. And then they're awful, you know. It went growing I never had gotten one. To, like I said, it was about ten years ago when I got my first one when I was still on my stores. And uh yeah, awful. Awful, awful. Um, I'm backing up here looking through the chat while I was talking and being all crazy. Yeah, Marcy used to still do time time. Mm -hmm. Whew, it is chilly down here. I should have worn my hoodie. And that's another thing. I'm not as fat. I get cold way easier. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm really cold. <laughs> Back in the day when I was fat and all this stuff, I would be a. Uh, I wouldn't be cold, but yeah, it, it's better. Good morning, 36 Chevy. How you doing? Here, we got a guy that wants to say hello. This is Hemi. You'll see his pulse. He's polydactyl. He's got an extra thumb. You see it? See his extra thumb? <laughs> so he's got six claws. This guy, he was just a stray. He walked up to our house when we lived in Missouri. He was a kitten. He was probably three months old or so. He's a good boy. He's about, oh, how old is he now? He's almost 13. So he's our he's our oldest pet in the house, but he is he's the one that had the, basically a sex change operation because he was getting crystals in his pee hole. And he's been healthy ever since. Super healthy. Justin and I have talked about him because he had a cat pass away from that. This is Hemi. He's named, uh, if, if anyone's ever been to Key West, um, the Hemingway house, it's known for having cats. And mo a lot of them are polydactyls, which means they have the six claws. And we saw he had the six claws, so his name is Hemi after Hemingway. Except for his full name is Heming Gray. Pretty gray. He's actually a Russian blue-like mix, but yeah, gray. And he wanted to say hello. He's a good boy. All my cats are really good cats. We're really lucky. So look at him. <laughs> He's so funny. He's a big baby. He's about 19 pounds. He's a big cat. He's that's why he's a Russian blue. That's why they know he's a Russian blue, because he's a huge cat. So he's a big baby though. Okay, that's our cat performance of the day, brought to you by Mike at Newfound Pest Thrifts and Flips. <laughs> yeah, actually, Dawn, she just, I just got over to the chat. He means yeah, he's a Russian blue, part Russian blue. He's just a mutt cat, you know, but the blue has definitely came out in him. I'm scrolling back up here, so yeah, I've got to keep the uh, Monty says, I found at Marketplace on Facebook a person had a keyboard, in package, an HB notebook, expansion box, selling box for free. Wow, that's awesome. Love free stuff. What's that saying? If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> Absolutely, Chris. Keeping healthy while doing sourcing is really important, and it is. And it's hard, too, especially if you're out all day. It's really easy to stop, you know, and eat fast food and stuff. And, yeah, 
it's really hard. Uh, Marcy, yeah, yay, just got a third cha-ching for the day. That's awesome. Hey, at least they're, they're sales and they're, they're out of your, your storage, you know? <laughs> Craig, my son has six toes. That's funny. So he's kind of polydactyl himself. Monty, I became diabetic two years ago. I have no sugar. Sliced bread turns into sugar in the body. Yes, absolutely. That's why I do, you know, the sugar affects me like crazy, you know. And in the last year, I lost 90 pounds, which that's awesome. I bet you're a lot, feeling a lot better, Monty. I know I am. Going from bumping 300 pounds to 230s is just like my energy is way better. You know, my, my stamina, my longevity, like, you know, I feel like I can do anything. You know, not in shape by any stretch, but, you know, diving's a lot easier, you know, doing all that stuff. Oh, wow, Marcy, you're just on a roll. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Like it. Hope to hear one soon. <laughs> uh, Danny asked, do you use um, multi-channel fulfillment? That rings a bell, Danny, but I can't recall right now maybe it's because i've only you know had one cup of coffee and i'm still on oh the other thing i do with that body stuff is that intermittent fasting 16 hours of fasting eight hours of eating eight hour window to eat but anyway that's that's easy i don't like breakfast anyway so to me that was just okay just eat lunch and dinner like you usually did you know so <laughs> destiny had a main coon called Meklo. <laughs> Maine Coons are big lovers. We had a, we uh, rescued a, a Maine Coon named Huffy. I mean, he just kept his name. We usually rename our pets. And uh, he was an older cat. He was like 12 already when we adopted him. And he only lasted a couple more years with us, but he was a big lover. He would hug you. He would wrap his paws around your neck and, and hug you. Yeah. He was a good cat. A little bit weird, but good cat. Oh my goodness. Shasha got f the fourth great grandchild this morning. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, Tom had an offer for a hundred dollars on three yards. That's awesome. Uh, I have some fabric actually in stock. I, got to, I won't pass up on anything. I've bought fabric as well. That's awesome. hundred dollars on three yards is really good. You know, 33 bucks a yard essentially. So Carol, weather here has been so crazy. I'm afraid to list. If it snows, I can't get out, making me worried. Oh, yeah. You may, Carol, you may, I mean, uh, it's a bunch of things. You could change your handling time temporarily to like out very far and, and put in your listings while you change your handling time because the weather's bad. And I don't you know. It's just one idea. <laughs> Destiny, stupid auto crank on phone. I know it gets us all. Good morning, Bob. Thrifty Bob. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Chris, we'll let you all know when I get my first sale, sale, <laughs> sale, <laughs> you will, it'll happen. My sister was stoked too. My sister just got into eBay last year sometime and she made her first sale. She was so excited and she's ramped up, you know, trying to get her to open a store. Oh, that's okay. Shipping sunshine. We understand. <laughs> destiny your cat would beat your hubby up when it was time for bed <laughs> hope you mean to the bed not actually physically beating him up <laughs> wow that's awesome marcy sending 151 items to amazon fba you'll do fine you'll do great i really wished i had time to go out and do some ra for uh amazon but i just don't have the time um, and my area is not really good for it. I need to get further out, like get an hour or two out of the, uh, DC area. Maybe we're sorry. I'm doing this. My hands are cold. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Chris auto correct. 
Okay. So I talked about inventory and I talked about one of the reasons to do inventory was you finding stuff that's not listed. And there was some good stuff too. I had some really, you know, some, a couple of things was like 50, $60 items that were just not listed anymore. Um, and obviously just to keep track of everything. And it, also the other thing doing inventory, uh, helped us with is when you're going through each item and, uh, we would look it up of course, and it helps you identify, I can't tell you how many things that got overlooked that had misspellings in the title. The pictures were horrible. We were able to either redo those or just touch them up in the eBay page, you know, cause there's a few minor tools on the eBay page. You can touch your photos up with, at least if you have an eBay store, I don't know what basic, but, uh, that's the other big thing is to let you reevaluate not only your pictures, your spelling, but also your price. We probably lowered the price on a couple hundred items that and like, Oh, we've had this forever. It's time to just get it lowered down and hopefully they'll sell, get it out of here. Uh, yeah, apps, you know, that's, that's the things with inventory. Let me see here. Oh, good morning, L. I thought you were in here earlier, but <laughs> maybe I was doing something else. Thank, thanks for popping in. Yeah, absolutely, Marcy. Oh, Marcy, I get that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Craig is right. Absolutely choose the correct condition. Oh, thank you, Patty Pinkball. Thank you for popping in. We appreciate it. Always like to see new names in the uh, chat, even if you've been a subscriber for a long time, which sometimes I can tell, which sometimes I can't. But uh, yeah, it's going on slowly, but surely I probably get, oh, 40, 50 new subs a week, which is good. You know, it'll take a long time to catch up with Scott at that rate. <laughs> I don't expect to ever catch up with Scott. You know, I'm surprised to get to where I am this quick, you know, so. I know there are some videos out there, but I'd like to learn from someone. No, yeah, absolutely. Marcy, especially about Amazon FBA. Scott's been doing more basic stuff about Amazon FBA and he's good. You, you know that though. Good morning, flipping Arkansas. Heard the weather was kind of bad in Jonesboro this morning. So good morning, steampunk town. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Yep, absolutely. And that's a good point by Marcy. Do your own thing and you will get there. And that's funny. That's the next thing on my list. Let me show you here. I had inventory. And the other thing was you do you. Popped right in, didn't it, Marcy? Marcy kind of, we read each other's minds sometimes. You do you. And uh, everybody, you know, has particular things they like to thrift, flip, pick up. But, you know, and it's good watching all these, the YouTubers and we do our best, but if you're miserable with what you're flipping, the whole point of doing this is to not be miserable. It's to be doing what you want to do. So if you don't like flipping clothes, don't do it, you know, and I understand if you're pigeonholed, if that's all you can get and everything, but, uh, part of the big part of this for me is enjoying life, you know? Um, yeah. If I just wanted to be a monotonous doing crap, I didn't want to do every day for eight hours a day. I'd get a regular job, you know, like I've had before. But, uh, yeah, that was the other thing is talk about you do you, you know, be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. So we got 46. So now we've dropped from 46 to 43. Awesome people watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you get a chance. I understand if you're on your phone or on your TV, I do that too. So not a big deal either way. Up, down sideways backwards uh, let me see here carol i have been accepted for sales on amazon but not stepped off the ledge yet have been on ebay 10 years or longer yeah and it is a big step on amazon it's different you know so yeah like i said you do you whatever whenever you feel comfortable with it watch videos you do you sorry here cold enough down here my nose is running my allergies have been acting weird too the past day or so. so. Good morning, reseller man. How you doing this morning? Uh, we'll learn your name. David. Good morning, David. How you doing? Come on. Uh, Carol, I don't care for selling new myself. I feel like there have been so much money tied up on new. Yeah, there can be, you know, there can be. <laughs> of 
Craig, you can you can slap it, flip it, rub it down, whatever you want to do with it, Craig. Your prerogative. You do what you want to do. <laughs> that was dang that was that was Bell Biff DeVoe and who, who did your it, your prerogative, Bobby Brown. <laughs> Throw back to my high school days. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, we've talked a little bit about inventory and you being you and just, you know, case of raw, so raw, you know, do what you want to do. Um, yeah, I have, um, I think this, this week, my, new backdrops for my new photo setup is going to be in and i'm going to get those put up tomorrow or the next day so saturday i think i'm going to drop a video about all about my new photography and video setup i hope my last video you guys like that i know the sound is still not great but it, it's kind of a pain to move this mic over there to that area but i think we're going to do it anyway i've been using this older cheaper mic for the haul videos but uh, this mic is much better i think i'm going to start doing that from now on but i hope the lighting's better uh, that was the main thing this past haul video to make sure the lighting was good, you know, so. But yeah, on, uh, on Saturday, we'll do a pre-filmed, we won't do a live, we'll do a pre-filmed video uh, showing our new video and photo setup and what we did and why we did it. Yep. <laughs> uh craig i got two different i got just a white and a black background coming in and i can actually do a third one if i want to add a pattern one in the future the uh the uh mount i got can do up to three and i'll show that as well you know of course in the video but uh i haven't put the amazon affiliate links in my uh in my description yet for the stuff i got because uh we wanted to see how to perform first, of course, and, uh, it's performed pretty well. So, I'll, uh, we'll talk about it and maybe, uh, add those links in. Justin talked a little bit this morning about being a part of the Amazon influencers program. And I have been invited for that as well, but I uh, haven't set it up yet. So been too busy and busy, busy, busy. I need to get some stuff listed, but I need to get, it's all, it's always the same thing, right? I need to get stuff listed, but also need to get this inventory done. Sooner I get this inventory done, the sooner it'll, the easier it'll be to list things. So, <laughs> I think I've, I haven't told my sister yet, my older sister, who I said has dipped her toe into, into eBay. She has a full-time job as well, and she can't leave that, leave that, uh, but she wants to do eBay on the side just to make some extra money and thrifting in her area is not really good. She actually still lives in Jonesboro. If uh, flipping Arkansas is in here, she actually lives in a little town outside of Jonesboro called a uh, Bono. Um, but thrifting in that area is not great. She does have to go to uh, Memphis, Tennessee for her work like all the time. So she does get to a thrift over there quite a bit. Oh, good morning, Ronnie. How you doing this morning, bud? Thank you for popping in. We're just shooting the breeze uh yeah <laughs> but uh I, all my i still have a back stock of uh good clothes in my garage but not really big item big ticket items you know um stuff i wouldn't pick up anymore because it just doesn't fit what i want to do margins wise on ebay anymore and i think i'm gonna package those up and see if she wants those like either ship them to her how much you guys think it'll cost to ship a 50 pound box of clothes to from Virginia to Arkansas <laughs> or maybe I should yeah oh, a pirate ship I guess I can get a quote I guess but I don't know but it's not really worth it of course if it's going to cost me $80 to ship a box to her but if it's going to cost me 30 bucks maybe I'll ship a whole box to her maybe it'll just show up one day I won't even ask her I have to watch that later, Ronnie. I saw the the headline. I have, you know, my notifications about the ten dollar video, the challenge video. I have to watch that later. Let me see here. Uh, blah blah blah.
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. You uh, flip an arc, so you head down to Little Rock. Her job always takes her to Memphis, unfortunately, and and uh, I think the areas of Memphis she works in typically aren't that great for thrifting, but she needs to head out towards the uh, suburbs of Memphis, I think, for better thrifting when she can. You know, so I know for a fact Jonesboro is not great for thrifting because when I go there to visit them, I, we you know hit some thrift stores that like they have that Abilities Unlimited downtown. And there's, you know, of course, Goodwill and stuff. And thrifting is not good there. <laughs> Every time I go, I still go to the thrift stores, but it's still just not good. Cool. Um, this pat as part of this inventory process, I have invested. And I talked about that a little bit a couple of times before. I've invested into more consistent bins, as you can see in the background get these bins at Costco and it's easier uh, storing stuff when your bin situation is more consistent. So yeah, the, the bins are not cheap. You know, uh, you can find bins and I do as well. I found these like rubber made bins at thrift stores all the time that I pick up for just two or $3 a piece. These bins are four and change a piece behind me, but there's something to be said for consistency. Cause I can stack these like seven feet tall, like, Actually, yeah, about seven feet tall, seven bins high, uh, seven and a half feet tall or so. So, and I have them all on flat rolling dollies. The, uh, I do the, uh, plastic flat furniture dollies because, uh, they're flatter The the wooden ones have a bigger dip. So the bins will want to dip in the middle. The plastic ones are flatter. So they say, stay, uh, seated better. Mercury has cheap rates. You could put the box on there. To <laughs> I could, I could, uh, that's a good thought, Michelle. Yeah, absolutely. Craig. And that's part of our whole process. And behind me against the wall, there's two bookcases and a Murphy bed as well. And I want those to go upstairs in another room, but that's going to be a hassle. That's going to be tough to do because I'm, I can do the bookcases myself, but it, that, that Murphy bed is going to be a tough, tough, tough one to move. I may actually have to hire some help to get that moved upstairs. The movers moved it in here and it took three guys to move it in here. So, yeah. Anyone else have friends because you sell once you list crap for them? Oh gosh, Carol, <laughs> things I would not sell myself. I don't want to because it's so hard. Yeah. Just, I wouldn't do it. To, I would, if, if someone asked you that, I would just highly recommend to them be like, you know, you know, I would want to, you know, I want to help you out, but I would be more, I want to, you know, they need to do it themselves. Be like, I'll teach you how to do it. And then you can just do it yourself or, or, or steer them towards our YouTube videos or how to sell on uh, eBay videos, you know, because selling stuff for other people is not good. Yep, Marcy got bins as well. Uh, yeah. The wheel dolly I get at Harbor Freight, Shasha. And normally, I mean, they're not cheap. The 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 plastic ones are normally twenty bucks a piece. But I found a deal, and you can use the coupon though. You can only get one at a time. But you, that, uh, Harbor Freight always has a uh, get twenty or twenty five percent off a single item. And, uh, so I was doing it that way. I would just go buy one at a time with the coupon, but they recently put them on sale for like 14 or 15 bucks a piece. And I bought a bunch of them. So I didn't have to buy one every time I drove by there, but yeah, Harbor Freight. Yep. Uh, but, but. Yeah, absolutely, Carol. I wouldn't because, you know, a lot of times people have unrealistic expectation of what their items are worth. And then they don't realize how much time it takes you, you know, to do it. And even if you're doing it 50-50, what if you get a return? You know, it's just, it's not worth it, you know. Not worth it. Yep, absolutely, Don. Coupons, Harbor Freight. And you can get their cheesy little free item too. If you have that coupon, you just, you know, sometimes they'll have tarps or batteries or flashlights you can get for free with the purchase, you know, so.
Yep. So Marcy has the bin she used. And like I said, these come from Costco. They come in five packs for, they were on sale for like 14 and change. No, three packs, three packs. I'm sorry. Three packs for 14 and change. So after taxes, you know, about five bucks per bin. I really like them. They're really sturdy. Yeah. Chicken fried steak. Yeah. They don't get their money because technically you don't have your money until the return period is over. I had someone try to open a return from something that was bought in November. I'm like, seriously? Declined. <laughs> and it was a new a tag clothing item. I'm like, no, not happening. Yeah, you get all your batteries there for free, Craig. You'll buy something and get those free batteries. <laughs> Chicken fried steak. Once I let my friend's family know about the fees and refunds, they usually run. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, me too, Craig. That's why I like these. I like the clear bins because even though I can, I have with my inventory, um, when something sells, it should be in a bin. It's always helpful to be able to see through them or to see. And it also helps to see if you have room in a bin to put something you listed, you know, you're like, Oh, there's room in that bin. There's room in bin D one eight, you know? So I put that in my custom skew on eBay D one eight and throw it in the bin and you're done. So, yeah. Well, 56 watching. Awesome. 56. Awesome. People watching hit the thumbs up, thumbs down whatever you want to do use the affiliate links whatever's clever as my friend Clyde would say whatever's clever I should have worn my hoodie down here I am freezing <laughs> um uh, January 1st for all of you with eBay stores your uh shipping coupon hit again so uh I just got my big order of stuff in uh from using my shipping coupon I ordered some uh some regular i have the uh you know the postal service padded flat rate but i got some of the ebay version padded flat rate envelopes with my shipping coupon this i got this size and i got the smaller size as well like the dvd size and i also got some more 10 by 8 by 6 boxes which i use a lot of so i've already used three or four of those i was out of them so use your shipping coupon Ikea does have some decent bins done. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> That's funny, chicken fried steak. It should already show up, Marcy. Uh, I think it's the same for everyone because it's a quarterly coupon. So just uh, hit your eBay uh they put it in weird spots, so of course, you know, it's like buy your subscriber discounts in your eBay store. I hate that they just don't have it right there on the front landing my eBay page. Yeah, absolutely, Craig. They stopped paying, taking PayPal for your uh, shipping supplies, so be prepared to put your credit card number in, which is great. You know, it's whatever, because I try to use my credit card for everything anyway, so churn those points and churn the credit card points. Go on vacation. Chilling the most. That's funny. That reminds me that they brought back that hump day commercial with the camel, the Geico commercial, and it drives people crazy. And I think it's hilarious. I just, I think it's funny. I don't know why it's stupid, but I think it's funny. <laughs> Good morning. Unclaimed storage treasures. Man, there's a lot of flippers in Alabama, isn't there? <laughs> You guys are awesome. At Chris, uh, Rex Road, uh, if you have an eBay store, you get a certain, uh, depending on the level of your store, you get a free, a certain amount of free shipping supplies per quarter from eBay. Um, yeah, if somebody wants to uh, link the area or link the info page, that's fine. Uh, about the uh, shipping coupon, the shipping discount. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. You need a store to get it. 
<laughs> chicken fries take the camel is funny. It is. It's funny. People like bat, you know, they're like, oh, that's so annoying. And it is, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe because mike is my name i just think it's funny mike 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 what day is mike Hump day. <laughs> and the look on the girl's face when she goes it's hump day what what <laughs> Uh, it's funny. I'm I'm stupid though. I like stupid, funny stuff. <laughs> like I like American Dad, and you know I don't watch as much anymore. But South Park back in the day, and Family Guy. You know I liked all that stuff. I'm just stupid though. That's why I was wondering, John, if it depended on the month or if it was everyone was on the same same calendar. I don't. I, all I know is my new one hit January first, so. Anyway, it's always a good to look out and check on it every once in a while if you don't know exactly when yours hits. So, flipping Arkansas, waiting on your Dymo 4XL to come in. That's awesome. Yes, it will, Don. It'll, it, or flipping Arkansas. Uh, I think you have your name down. Anyway, yeah. It will work well. A lot of people have been ordering the Rolo, and that works well. But the uh, the Dymo 4XL will work fine uh, with your MacBook Pro. If you have any issues with it, just comment on one of the videos. I always read all the comments, respond to all of them, so I uh, help you walk you through it. Yeah. <laughs> And Marcy, I just had someone say that the item I sold wasn't new, had a freaking towel. Oh, gosh, don't you hate those, Marcy? People can be shady, shady, shady. Oh, you can always try to challenge. I mean, it doesn't say eBay will do anything, but you can try to call eBay and have it removed. But, uh, you know, it's funny back in December, I got my first negative feedback and, um, it was over that stupid can opener and it was that whole story that it miraculously started working when, you know, I did all the spiel about, you know, I want it back in the exact same condition, the exact box I sent it and they kept it. They had opened a return though. And, but so I had to wait for the return to close after like however long it was and the return automatically closed. And when the return automatically closed, they automatically removed the negative feedback as well. So I didn't even have to call eBay to get it removed, but uh, yeah. It still is a bummer to get that first negative feedback, Marcy. That pit of your stomach, you're like, you SOB. People are just, can be a-holes. I'm going to go look at it right now, Marcy. A new gap flannel. And so it's always on something cheaper too, isn't it? Like you just, it was only 20 bucks. You had free shipping. So, you know, you know. That's crazy. Crazy, Marcy. John, you got your Dymo with a 450 Turbo. I've never used that one. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the, the 4XL is great. Uh, my, my wife used it for the... She was helping me uh, inventory. My wife used my 4XL for the first time the other day, and she was like, this thing is awesome. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> it's so versatile because the, it has a software, and not only do I do eBay labels with it, but I like all my bins that are labeled. All that's from the Dymo, you know. Pop it in, print it out, and done. Uh, it's no problem, Marcy. It's fine. Like I said, I, it's worth it, but they, they probably won't do anything, but you can try to call eBay, but they more than likely, they won't do anything. Unfortunately, I would message the, uh, the person that left the negative too and go, you know, I, I take returns, you know, you didn't have to leave the negative feedback and I'd appreciate it if you would withdraw it, you know, you can always try to work with the, uh, the buyer to try to get it removed as well.
No, that's okay, Marcy. The getting your first negative is is it's it pisses you off. It pissed me off when I got. Yeah, you know, I, I actually I've had negatives before, but they were in like fifteen years ago. You know, I got my first one in over a decade the past December, but luckily it got removed. So, but it sucks. You work hard at doing this, and you know for a fact what something is and where it came from, and somebody's still like a jerk about it, and it's not even that expensive as an item. You know, so yeah, absolutely. I was hoping I would hear more cha-chings this morning, but uh, nothing so far. Yep. Like I said, you can try, Marcy, to do stuff, but more than likely, um, like I said, I would try to contact the, uh, the buyer and see if you can work it out with them. And uh, you can try to call eBay, but more than likely, nothing's going to happen. It just depends on how much time you want to put put uh, put into it. So, yeah, sorry it happened though. It does stink. It stinks real bad. I can hear my dog snoring over there. So, it's funny. Does anybody got any? I know John does the reseller challenge. Uh, you guys have any goals today? My goal is to finish this inventory, which probably take the rest of the day. Uh, I'd like to get some stuff listed, but I just don't see it happening today. Oh, a neutral Marcy. Oh, that's, that's, I mean, that's not hugely different, but that's different, you know, at least to, you know, at least it's not a negative. Yeah, absolutely, Marcy. Like I said, it's worth a shot. It's worth a try, you know. Especially it was new and you pictured it new with tags and they're saying it's not new. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> the hits keep on coming, Marcy. It's not your day today. Maybe today is a nap day again. <laughs> Uh, Don is going to uh, finish up and send my most recent FBA shipment. Awesome. It's good stuff. Oh, that's no problem, Marcy. That's what we're all here for. Help and be helped. Some of us need help every day. I've come on here and needed help with, from people. So, yeah. I got this by Dawn. Recently got a neutral on a new item sold for under $10 saying the nut was missing in the package. I contacted them and apologized and said I had free returns. eBay would not remove. So there you go. Yeah, it is a trade-off, Marcy. That's good. You did you have gotten four cha-chings this morning, so it was that was really good. Okay, well, if nobody's got anything else, uh, I guess it's, uh, yeah, thanks, Shasha, I appreciate it, thumbs up. All right, guys, we went over the topics, uh, yeah, nothing else for today, I'll wait a second, Piper John. Always keep a few items as drafts. That way, on days when I can't go listing, I can set a couple of drafts live with a couple clicks. Keep that momentum going. That's, that's a good idea, John. Good idea. Heck, I've <laughs> they didn't make for good pictures, but I actually have listed pictures in my truck before. I've set stuff on the, like, I listed some shoes in my truck. I set the shoes on the dashboard, and I had a nice scenery in the background. There were some trees where I was parked. I listed crap right in the truck. <laughs> uh, Shasha had someone purchased in November and yesterday notified PayPal for a refund saying I never responded to them. They never contacted him. That's why that is 100% Shasha. Why I'm glad that eBay is doing away with PayPal. Having two different systems that people can hit you on. Actually, there's three because they can always do their credit card as well. But most people won't do that. But you have eBay, you know, returns, and then you have to deal with PayPal as well. It's ridiculous. It's 100% ridiculous. 
So that's why I'm super glad that eBay is kicking PayPal out of the curb. Uh, Shasha had tag said it was imitation leather. I don't know if they can still leave feedback this far out or not. Yeah, they, they probably can Shasha, but whether they will or not is another question. Uh, yeah, I absolutely. I, what Don said, Marcy, I would, uh, definitely do the reply. Absolutely. Oh, no problem, Carol. That's what we're here for. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Riley. Uh, I just moved to Virginia three years ago. It may be, I don't know. We can ask Justin. He's a lifer of Virginia. So. Oh, hello, David. How are you doing this morning? Probably going to wrap it up here in the next 10 minutes or so. Good morning, Nathan. Yeah, I saw you in the chat and Justin show. Uh, you fell asleep again, though. <laughs> they're, they're doing their own uh, payment system through eBay, Carol. They're, they'll be transitioning. I don't know when they're going to transition to that, but they've already started. They've started beta testing it and they are already have, and they're doing it on like their shipping supplies and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. My mind's at a blank this morning. Usually I can ramble and ramble about stuff and yeah, do stuff. But I think we talked about everything I was going to cover for sure. Uh, we talked about a lot of other things. Talked about inventory. We talked about you being you, selling what you want to sell. Absolutely. If we could, we, I mean, we still got 50 watching. Uh, see if we can get those thumbs up over 20. That'd be great. There was a time when we would have 50 watching and 50 thumbs up. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Destiny, we had one bad feedback on an item that it was not as described. There was nothing we could do. It was, but she was being really rude in messages, but our customers made sure. Yeah. It happens, doesn't it? I mean, I've sold stuff before and got a, you know, INAD return and uh, it was something completely my fault. You know, it happens. Oh, well, that is a good bonus, Marcy. At least you got it for free. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, Don. I thought when going through my inventory, there'd be a lot more stuff I would call and I'm not done yet completely. Um, but I only called like a couple of things, you know, stuff. I mean, they're just going to pitch outright or redonate or whatever. But, uh, that was another thing with the inventory is to call stuff that is just not working for you anymore, you know? So. Uh, Chris is the 50 free have a monthly restart date. Um, yes, Chris, they do every, every month it, it starts again, but also your 50 free. And remember if you relist stuff that counts against your 50 for free as well. So you got to remember that it's not like you can list 50 items in December and you have a 50 fresh items you can list in January. Um, whatever didn't sell in December, you'll have to relist and that'll count against it. Uh, Craig, I got 12 thumbs down on my recent realities of RA video. People don't want through. Well, the, I think Craig, it's weird, but those retail arbitrage video people that draws the haters more than anything. I, I've seen that on, not only on your channel, but on a lot of other channels. As well, those retail arbitrage videos, people, there's a group of people that <laughs> do not like them for some reason. Oh yeah, I, I know you did, Marcy. <laughs> At least yeah, I hope so. But yeah, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Marcy, they do count against it. Absolutely. Even if it's good deal canceled and it's auto read list. Yep. Yep. Oh, no problem, Chris. We got your back. Yeah, absolutely, Craig. They tend, they get the viewer. They get, there's more people that love them than hate them for sure, but they definitely bring out the big group of, bigger group of haters. <laughs> you know, yeah, I know you've seen that personally. So, yeah. Uh, that's possible, Don. <laughs> that's possible. People, uh, there's a lot of people that aren't necessarily tech savvy, and that's okay, you know. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, we're probably going to wrap it up here in the next five minutes or so, but I do appreciate you popping in, popping in. Please hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Michelle, those, those people aren't very smart. Yeah, it happens. I mean, technology is weird. You know, a lot of people have different ideas and yeah, they didn't grow up using it and, and it's tough. My generation is the last generation of, we didn't necessarily have cell phones, you know, as a regular part of our lives growing up. I mean, there were cell phones back when I was growing up, but they were definitely not for the general population. They were so expensive. So when I left the house as a teenager, there was no way for my parents to get a hold of me unless I called them or came home. <laughs> there was more, basically in my generation, um, the rich kids had beepers. I was not a rich kid. So, yeah. Age myself. I was in high school from uh, 1991 19, to 1994. I graduated high school in 1994. So a lot of beepers, a lot of pagers. So, yep. Yeah, Michelle, you had to be within shouting distance, which I never was. <laughs> Even if I had to, you know, that's also a thing back in the day. You know, I didn't have a car. I was, you know, luckily I had a lot of friends with cars, you know, because we were poor. There's no way I had a car. Um, if I wanted to go somewhere, I either rode uh, my bike or walked. That's the reason we were all skinny back then, because we rode our bikes everywhere and we walked everywhere. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, Marcy. And and doctors, and a lot of people don't realize that. I mean, even in the age of cell phones, doctors still carry beepers because the, the signals are more reliable on beepers. They can still be gotten a hold of no matter what, you know. Oh, that's awesome, Nathan. That class of 1994. And the good old days, yeah. I don't know about that. I definitely like my cell phone. <laughs> Yeah, Marcy, high school grad year. I was class in 1994. And so was Nathan. Craig was 88. Marcy was 89. Hey, Chris, you had tractor parking at your school. Heck, our, uh, my, my high school back then was so small, we wouldn't have room in our parking lot for tractors. That's how small my high school was. And John graduated in 77. That's all right, John. A lot of my uncles and stuff graduated in those areas. Uh, my mom was, my mom was the eldest of my, uh, of her group of siblings. And there's seven of them. My mom was the oldest and she graduated in, uh, 69. But my uncles graduated all throughout the seventies and the youngest aunts graduated in 87. So yeah, there was a big gap there. My mom, 69, my aunt, my youngest aunt, 87. So my aunt that was that young was more like a sibling to us, you know, because, you know, my older sister was a class of 93 and I was 94. Flipping Arkansas, class of 91. 
and in Jonesboro, flipping Arkansas. I know you're there now, or were you somewhere else in Arkansas? Which which school did you graduate from? Curious. Dawn, class of 03. Uh, Will, Will Honda Hangouts, 89. Michelle, 88. Yes, Destiny, uh, high school graduation. Larry, class of 1980. 1999 for Destiny. Oh, that's funny, Nathan. We were lined up perfectly, didn't we? Our moms had babies the same year. <laughs> Cody, welcome Cody, 2003. Dawn, class of 78. Shaw Shaw, grad, 1970. Dawn, 82. I have an uncle that was class of 82. Part-time picker, 03. Hampton, yeah, that was a little area, little, little, little. 1995 for Michelle Gray. Part of the year I started the day in the field and went back out after school, especially if the field was between, yeah, I get that, in farming area, right? Hawk, class of 81. So we have, I see people with that, it's an interesting way to do this. You see what a wide range of, of, people we have in here we got anywhere from the 60s of people all the way that graduated up graduated past 2000 you know so class of 77 for ship and sunshine we the north flipper class of 1992 shamrock pixie i'll be 39 in february yeah it sneaks up on you destiny it sneaks up on you i'll be i'll be 43 this year this June, I'll be 43. Chris, class of 87. It is, Craig. Uh, age is definitely relative. Um, I definitely do not feel my age. You know, I was talking about earlier about my goofy sense of humor and how, like, kind of juvenile comedy. Uh, Craig's hitting the big 5-0 in August. Yep. It's scary how time when and i'm sure everybody else is like me when i was a kid time went by so slow i remember being at the you know the roller rink and all that stuff being like man i can't wait till i graduate but 1994 so long you know long ways away and now it's so far away in the past you know 25 year high school reunion this year and my marine corps reunion this year 25 years my boot camp reunion 25 years have just blown by and class of 70 moronic pest class of 77 we got a lot of viewers in to hitting in the chat and getting this class talk going it's awesome welcome everyone hit the thumbs up while you're in here <laughs> i imagine destiny that winter uh the older you get the harder winter hits you and I'm getting older and a little bit skinnier, like we were talking about earlier. And it has hit me double hard this year. I'm like freezing all the time. Piper John, be 60 in August. Yeah, 60 is the new 40. How about we claim that? You know. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Marcy. You can link your channel if you if you want to in here. Everybody go subscribe to Marcy. She's she's put out a few videos. She's slowly but surely uh, ramping her uh video output out there getting out of our comfort zone as our one video said absolutely craig 1995 for david make sure i got that right yep david reseller man class of 1995 <laughs> shaw shaw your son just turned 43 Yep, I'm a I'm a 19 I'm a bicentennial baby myself. I was born in '76. <laughs> Hawk, 50 50 years old, gets senior discount. I bet she's already been getting all that AARP stuff in the mail. <laughs> Just giving you a hard time. There you go, Marcy. You got a couple of subs.
Absolutely, Marcy. And getting out of the cold weather. 100% more on pest. The older you get, the faster life seems to go. And I am with that 1,000%. Like it seems like yesterday. I met my wife when uh, I was 29 when I met my, who is now my wife, and has been for the past 10 years. Uh, we were together three years before we got married. And uh, that time has just blown by. I was 29 years old when we met blown by yep absolutely john i believe that 100 percent. that's why i try to stay active that's why i like to go scuba diving i like to get out and walk the creeks and go metal detecting uh probably get, i'm still on the fence about starting a new channel to do my scuba diving and metal detecting or just making an occasional video and putting it on here uh I know I got downvoted into oblivion on the community tab, but I'm still on the fence about it. So, but it helps keep me young. You know, you get out in nature. Just make sure you use sunscreen. <laughs> Destiny, you're moving to Nevada in the spring. Wisconsin make you feel fat during the winter. <laughs> Nevada is nice all year round. Yep. It can get cool there, but not near like Wisconsin. You know, nothing like that. Absolutely, Chris. The senior citizen free coffee. That's why all those, you see, you go into most any McDonald's early in the morning and you have a group of old people and everybody's like, what are they doing there? They're getting free coffee. <laughs> there you go. Marcy linked her video. Everybody go subscribe to her. Marcy is good people. Good, good people. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right, Dale. My, I won't say how much older, but my wife is a, a little bit older than I am as well. <laughs> David, I'm an avid metal detectorist. Love it. Yeah. I try and in this area. I haven't gotten out since I lived here because the laws in this area are so weird that it was hard to figure out what was legal and what's not. But basically what I did figure out is that waterways are common use. So no one can say boo to you in the waterways. So land is a different story around here. Every like County and even municipality around me has different laws for metal detectors. So it's, it's hard in Virginia, whereas Missouri, I could just go out wherever pretty much, you know, well, that's awesome. John, Absolutely. We can. Um, I'm just an open water diver, but you know, I'm definitely not a rest, uh, certified rescue diver. And I definitely do not, I haven't done enough dives to go deep, you know, but yeah, you know, good 50 feet dive, you know, that's no problem. Oh, that's a, and that was my thought, Rusty Raccoon, is that um, um, some of the Civil War stuff I find, if if I do want to sell it, I can I can so I can I can spin it that way. Like I am flipping, I am. <laughs> this is part of the flipping life is finding you know selling stuff you find. So, absolutely. What'd you say, Craig? I didn't, I didn't see anything. Oh, you're just talking to someone else. Oh yeah. I didn't see it. Sorry. Good morning. Pick and roll. How you doing this morning? We're about to wrap this up. I've already went 10 minutes longer than I thought I was going to, but we got on a good topic. <laughs> it happens. You get on a good topic. You got to roll with roll with it. All right. These that uh, and everyone, all the other resellers will tell you this. Justin and Scott and Craig and Lonnie and all this stuff. These resell these uh live videos are awesome because we get so many watch minutes out of them, and even on the replays, so we get a little bit more uh, time against our requirement. Of course, our four thousand watch hours, but for the the pennies we get on uh, the ad revenue, uh, can be better on these live videos because the watch time is so big. So yeah. Uh, so far since I've been monetized, it's been like 
two weeks, I think I'm at 51 bucks <laughs> in ad revenue. And that counts super chats as well. $51 total in super chats and ad revenue shows you how little money there is in YouTube. So take that for what you, what you will. Yeah, Craig, I figured that out after the fact. I'm pretty slow on that. Absolutely, Piper John. Piper John, what I want to do in this area, especially since this area is so historic, you know, every war that's ever been fought in this country has had action close to where I live, is I want to do, you know, metal detecting dives and find relics, you know, whether it's Civil War bullets or cannonballs or swords or belt buckles or, you know, whatever, artillery shells. No telling what you can find in water because anyone can metal detect on land. Not everyone can metal detect in the water. Uh, that's probably what I'm heading towards, uh, David is sell the fines that may make it part of the channel, but, uh, make it separate videos where I find stuff and then sell my fines. So, yeah, I have never sold anything. I've honestly, I've never found anything great anyway, just, you know, mostly coins and stuff like that. But, uh, in this area, I know for a fact, I'll find more civil war stuff because it's in Northern Virginia. I can't tell you how many battles and skirmishes and pickets there was just in my area. You know, I pulled up the old maps the other day and going, shit, there was a picket just up the road for me that they had marked on this map here. There's actually a Creek right behind me that I'm going to, when it gets warmed up a little bit, it doesn't have to be super warm cause I can have hip waders, but, uh, when it gets warmed up a little bit, I'm going to hit that Creek cause there was a, a grist mill and a lot of civil war pickets along that Creek. So, a big, uh, a big YouTuber name. His name is Bo Oymet, but his, 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 uh, YouTube name is Aqua Trigger. The Aqua Trigger. He just lives up in Maryland, just North of me. And he does tons. He's got, he's got over a million subscribers. Uh, he does a lot of stuff in Maryland, Virginia. So he just seems like a good dude though. Absolutely. Marcy, you should 100% do that and start doing videos about, you know, just when you're at the dumpster and you find something, just take a quick clip, you know, and you can either hodgepodge them together when you actually list something or sell it, or, you know, there's something there. You can absolutely do that. Seems to people, there's a lot of people that like the dumpster diving videos, like uh, Craigslist hunters done some and uh, Steve and Steph has done some people love that stuff. I can't do that around here because all the dumpsters are locked. I'm not against dumpster diving but all the dumpsters in my area are always locked yeah chris 51 bucks 51 bucks that's about 10 cents an hour when you break down the time it takes to do this stuff <laughs> oh gosh yeah oh man that'd be a doozy craig had to get everyone on board with that and they take everyone takes like an hour or two Yep, Marcy. Yep, yep. Yeah, I like uh, David. I like uh, Nugget Noggin as well. He's a good dude. Down, he's down in Alabama. They've they've actually both came up in this area. Cole Pepper's a town not too far from me. Oh, about an hour and a half from me. And they they'll do private hunts in Cole Pepper and Aqua Trigger and Nugget Noggin. Both will be there. Um, of course, I'm not invited, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that is cool. Yep. Absolutely. Marcy, I remember seeing that from your video. Your, uh, yep. The construction dumpster thing. You found all that Tyvek wrapping and stuff. There's a lot of variables, Rusted Raccoon. There's tons of variables, uh, ad revenue in a typical live one hour show. I mean, for me, because of where my subscribers are, it's typically four to five dollars typically like total that's after you know weeks of being up it's not very much yeah more like pest he is entertaining he's been doing a lot of stuff recently I, and i don't know if he's had health issues or what but uh he's been doing a lot of videos recently on caves and stuff which i'm not really that interested in i like his i love his river hunting stuff that's what i'm really a big fan of is his river hunting stuff Yep. 
I, yep, Marcy finds a lot of that stuff in construction dumpers, dumpsters. I saw that one chandelier as well, along with that Tyvek wrapping. Dawn, uh, it was a group. Oh, I don't see what I missed something. Oh, no problem, Rust Tracker. I mean, like, it will always be, and Justin's the same way, will always be forthcoming with it. Like I said, I've, I can show you real quick. I'm going to show you. There's a YouTube studio app on your phone. It's like a different than the regular YouTube video app. Let me show you here. See if you can see this. Uh, let me bring my... $54.03. That's how much I've made total. That includes Super Chats. And Super Chats is probably... 15 bucks of that <laughs> so <laughs> uh so what is that 40 ish dollars or so in actual ad revenue so yeah <laughs> about 15 bucks in super chats 40 ish dollars in ad revenue in about i don't know about 17 days or so uh, let me see here uh, oh no kelly i hate the cold weather hate it hate it hate it I think the, this is the coolest thing that you've had on your show. Oh, thanks, Marcy. I thought I was struggling for a little while. I'm like, oh, this is boring. I'm about to wrap it up. But it has gotten interesting. We talked about high school graduation. We talked about maybe doing some other types of videos. Encourage you. Get, hopefully, you got some subs. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, Rusted Raccoon. There's no there's no reason to hide it. Why, you know, I don't understand people that hide everything. Basically, and, and Justin has talked about this before, too. I, I need to stop saying that. but. Uh, Oh, Rust Raccoon. Oh, I appreciate that, bud. You didn't have to do that, of course, but it's all appreciated. But uh, if you're on a uh, reseller's YouTube channel and they're not upfront with their eBay stores, run away. <laughs> Don't take their advice. All my, my three uh, eBay stores are always linked in my description, and you, anyone can go and look at them. Look at the solds, look at anything. So, yeah. Oh, no. Thank you, Sip and Sunshine. Thanks for, thanks for popping in. Yeah, get all your stuff packed up. I wish I had stuff to pack up. <laughs> if people would pay for their stuff, I would have stuff to pack up. But, yeah, that's okay. They will, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, I think, Chris, the... Uh, it's delayed or something on, on the thumbs up because it, it was off on Justin's this morning as well. Like it was stuck. Like right now I'm showing it only as 15 and I can pretty much guarantee you there's more than 15 thumbs up and down. I got 15 up and one down. I guarantee there's more than that, but I saw something weird is going on with YouTube right now, but yeah, hit it. If you haven't, Oh man, reseller, man, I think you were the first one ever to give me one. So yeah, I doubly appreciate that. So yeah, you guys are awesome. Oh, good morning, Warren. How are you doing this morning? Oh, so cold. Oh, man, I'm on. Oh, no wonder I'm so hungry. I was like, man, I'm really hungry, but I'm coming up, up to the end of my uh, fasting period. I've been fasting about 16 hours now. So after I wrap this up, I'm going to go have a protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> the protein shake for life um rusty raccoon oh marcy no oh. thank you for that you guys are awesome um rusty raccoon i tell them on my youtube just check my my solds i know you meant solds right? autocorrect on ebay and tell them what to yeah absolutely yeah like i said my my accounts are linked you can go to the account or you can go to the sold items and see everything that's sold you don't even have to actually wait for the what sold video but uh if you want to be surprised just wait for the what sold video because i show everything there i don't hold things out everything is shown yeah kelly it was i was talked about that earlier it's been it was pretty slow for me as well well slow numbers wise the the quantity wise the yeah <laughs> i don't know what i was trying to say there <laughs> Uh, 
Absolutely, Flip in Arkansas. I appreciate it. Like I said, I think it's just delayed or something or stuck or something. I think there's actually more than that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Marcy. Appreciate it. You guys make it make it worth doing 100%. <laughs> Dang, Kelly, it's going backwards. This actually went from cold. It's going to be a little bit warmer today here. Not warm enough, but it's going to be a little bit warmer today here. So, yep. Okay, guys, 10.20. I've been going for an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, any last-minute questions, comments? whatever you want to do thanks for all the super chats guys the three super chats we got marcy and david the reseller man and rusted raccoon which i don't know if i have your name down rusted raccoon or if you per prefer to be called rusted raccoon that's fine as well but let me know your real name in the chats rusted raccoon and i'll note it down here on my list rusted raccoon Good morning, Lynn. How are you doing this morning? If uh, yeah, sorry, I'm bad with with acronyms. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> like a lot of times, I see people post on like Instagram and Twitter and stuff, and they use like their little shorthand and stuff, and I don't understand it. That's when I know I'm old. You know, you don't get the music, and you don't get the. Uh, hawk uh, if is it uh, sticky uh, sticky stuff i just use goo gone you can also use olive oil if that's all you have but uh if it's just grime or whatever i just use windex but uh sticky stuff use a uh, goo gone absolutely or olive oil or yeah goof off whatever you have you can use even uh lighter fluid yeah, a rusted eraser, just like David said. A uh, magic eraser, just like David said. Yeah. I have a video about cleaning the, you know, because all my mugs have those super tacky stickers on them. And I have a video a long time ago that I posted about how to get the stickers off. I will take a heat gun to them and peel it off. And that gets most of the gunk off. But you'll also need to take a little goo gone. And while it's still warm, it'll come off a lot easier. So, yeah, and that's that. Oh, absolutely, Shasha. Again, congratulations on that. Great grandparents. That's awesome. I'm not even going to be a parent in my life, so I can't imagine being not only a parent to grandparent, but a great grandparent. That's that's awesome. That's really awesome. <laughs> uh, you're just with it more than I am, Lynn. <laughs> oh, definitely a uh, magic eraser hawk. 100% magic eraser. Just like uh, David talked about, make sure you get the magic eraser damp and some water and the uh, magic eraser will take that ring stain off 100%. You can buy some, in the, the, the uh, Mr. Clean magic eraser are a better quality and they last longer, but you can also get a knockoff. They're called polyurethane, polyurethane foam. They're a lot cheaper, but they're also not as good a quality either. So it depends. You can get a whole bunch of them on Amazon for cheap. And you're right, Don. Barkeeper's friend does work as well. Absolutely. What they they all are, what magic erasers are, and barkeeper's friends, uh, they're just abrasives. What a what a what a magic eraser is is basically a sandpaper, but it's just really fine. So yeah, absolutely. 100%. Okay, guys, almost an hour and a half. I think I'm going to wrap it up now for real. But the thanks, it was fun today. We talked about a lot of stuff. Shipping, we talked about you doing you. Inventory, we talked about our high school graduation years and negative feedback and how to deal with that. And we talked all kinds of good stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks for everything, that everybody that participated. In, and thank you for all the super chats. You three, you guys are awesome. Rusted Raccoon, and David, and Marcy. Um, 
you guys make it worth doing you know that's all i can say about that so uh thanks and uh let me see here what is today wednesday i'll be filming my what sold video this afternoon that's something else i gotta do today i gotta so i'm definitely gonna get anything listed today i gotta do inventory i gotta do film my what sold video which will drop uh tonight for patrons tomorrow it'll be made public on youtube but uh thanks guys thanks for participating in chat you guys are great uh hit the thumbs up or thumbs down the way out but uh thanks guys we will see you guys uh, tomorrow with what sold peace